Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here with a comparison video for you guys. Now, I am in the process of changing over my carry system. Um, just to give you a little background on that, I went from a SIG P320 to an STI Staccato C Duo back to a SIG P320 and now I am going to a Shadow Systems MR920 Elite. I know, a lot of uh, bouncing around and so forth, but that's over the course of a uh, couple years. Um, anyway, so this is going to be a comparison video between holsters, but they're actually the same holster, but they're different in a way. Um, and I'm going to explain that to you. They're both by a company called Black Arch Holsters. There's their website right there if you want to check them out. Highly recommend it. I love these holsters. So this is the old holster the old holster okay i'm out here filming outside today so hopefully that sunlight really makes it pop for you guys okay so you can see that this one is worn um here get this profile for you you can see how it's curved to my body over time um yes there's a good bit of dust um and you know carry lint uh in there and I love this holster, uh, one of the most comfortable holsters I've ever worn. These are designed to be worn at the three o'clock, uh, four o'clock position, which is my preferred carry position. I tried to get into appendix and I just, I just can't do it. I know a lot of guys love it. Hey, kudos to you. It's just not for me. So this is my original holster. Love the holster. Now, some things, so I notice on Black Arch, they change out what you can get. So they have holsters of the month. Um, this right here, where it's sort of a leather pattern on the Kydex, you actually can't get anymore, um, at least not at the time that I ordered this. So this is for my shadow systems. Uh, this is the teal, I believe, teal mesh insert. Um, or aqua mesh insert. I really wanted the uh, Luau, uh, which was the July 2022 holster of the month, but I was a few days late to that and I messaged them and they would not sell it to me. So I went with this black backer, the, uh, the teal, I'm just going to say teal or aqua uh, mesh, the gray uh, shell. Now they have different clips that you can get. Both of these holsters I went with the same clips, which are just the standard plastic uh, plastic clips. Um, but there are some differences in these holsters, and let's let's go over those real quick. The biggest difference are the screws, are the hardware. So I'm gonna hold these both so I can point them out to you. So if you look at the screws here, you can see how they're they're a rounded head, right? Very clearly. And then if you look at here. They're still a Phillips, but they're flattened. So you guys can see that. Also on the clips, okay, it's the same screws. And then over here on the older holster, it's a screw and it actually goes down into a, like an inset washer. You guys can see that versus that. I'll put them right next to each other. Definitely a difference in the hardware. Why they changed it, I don't know. Maybe it's just availability or whatnot. I don't I don't really know. Um, another difference that I notice on this Kydex, this edge right here is smooth and rounded down. This Kydex, you guys can probably already see it, there's a there's a lip and you can hear that. Okay, there's definitely a clear lip on this holster. Still smooth, the edge is still smooth but there's definitely a clear lip right there. Um, they both have a retention screw, but again, the retention screw is different where you have the rounded head here and you have the flat head on the new one. All right, let's look up top real quick. The logo, okay, you guys can see the logo. Um, the logo is a little bit bigger on the older one versus the new one. Obviously, this is a lot more worn, so, you know, keep that in mind um, and then something else I was noticing and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on camera I'll go with that there we go so right here on the inside on the leather you can see this is plain right outside of the the indentions from the gun and then on the new holster there you can already see it 
right there. You see it's printed. Okay, it's got text printed, and I'm going to read this the best I can for you guys. Basically, Protos M, patent, it's got the patent number, and it actually says, oh, that's cool, I just noticed that. It actually says Shadow Systems MR920 Elite Optic. So this backer was made specifically for, for that. There you go. There's a good shot of it down there. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, the the model that this fits is stamped right there. So again, you know, a, a little touch, uh, just a little extra. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I have not carried this yet. I just took it out of the package actually, and I wanted to do a comparison video for you guys. So uh, let me know what you think. If you have Black Arch holsters, let me know what you think, what your thoughts are, if you like them, if you don't like them, um, if they're comfortable. I think they are the most comfortable holster I have ever worn at the three or four o'clock position. Um, hands down, the most comfortable. Um, they're a little bit bulkier, uh, because it's a hybrid type holster, okay, a little bit bulkier, but I love this wrap around where the Kydex wraps around. You still get full Kydex engagement on the trigger guard, um, whereas a lot of hybrid holsters are just a shell on top of a leather backer, and you're depending on, with those, you're depending on your body pressing into it for the retention, whereas with this, it has a uh, you know, it has the Kydex on both sides of the trigger guard. You still get the positive click that you're accustomed to from Kydex. So I think these are worth the money. This holster costs about 120 something dollars. I think 100 and about $26. Um, but again, they're worth it. They're great holsters. I highly recommend it. So you guys stay tuned to my channel. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you like this content and more will be coming out. Till next time, you guys stay safe. God bless America.